Good morning to all of you. I hope you all are fine. Today we will discuss about the concept of effective stress. I mean principle of effective effect principle of effective stress. The principle of effective stress was first proposed by Terzaghi. and really it is a very useful parameter and it is suitable in many problem of soil mechanics like problem of shear strength effective stress is very useful in the problem of compressibility of soil effective stress is very useful and lateral earth pressure also and there are many cases where the effective stress is very much useful uh, to calculate the different problems or uh, to address the different problem of the soil mechanics actually consider a case if we have a soil sample like this suppose this is the soil sample a if the water table is at this level our soil is dry in this part and saturated in this part suppose if we want to calculate the stresses developed at the point o what will be the total vertical stress sigma at point o in a soil mass will be equal to H1 into gamma d. Suppose gamma d is the dry unit of the soil, and H2 into gamma saturated. If the saturated weight of the soil is gamma s, so total stress is equal to gamma H1 gamma d plus H2 gamma saturated. Gamma d dry unit of the soil and gamma saturated saturated unit weight of the soil. so at this point at this point the soil will experience a total stress like this in other way we can say total stress is equal to stress due to soil skeleton and stress due to pore water here see here stress at point o will be because of the soil skeleton soil particle and soil sorry due to the pore water so total stress sigma is equal to sigma bar plus g where sigma bar is the stress due to soil skeleton and u is stress due to pore pressure this u pore pressure is also called neutral pressure neutral pressure why it is neutral because it acts in all directions okay and this sigma bar soil or stress due to the soil skeleton is called effective stress effective stress hence the effective stress is equal to total stress minus pore pressure so effective stress is total stress minus pore water pressure or neutral pressure okay so what we see stress due to skeleton is called stress uh, effective stress and stress due to pore water is called neutral pressure and this neutral pressure is measured with the standard here this is standard it can be measured with standard you you can be measured with standard or you can say piezo meter standby or piezo meter If you put 
sigma is equal to suppose sigma is equal to h1 gamma d plus h2 gamma saturated this is the total stress minus pore pressure will be h2 gamma w and if you rearrange this equation then it will become h1 gamma d plus h2 gamma saturated minus h2 gamma w or h1 gamma d plus if you take h2 common then it will be gamma saturated minus gamma w so it will become h1 gamma d and gamma saturated minus gamma w is called gamma summer so it will become h2 gamma summer so effective stress is equal to gamma h1 gamma d plus h2 gamma summer okay suppose if the soil is dry suppose if we take for the dry soil if the soil is dry means u is equal to pore pressure will be equal to 0 pore pressure will be 0 here so gamma effective will be total pressure okay so this is the simple calculation for effective stress remember effective stress is not a a physical parameter and cannot be determined this effective stress is not a physical parameter and it cannot be determined because see we can determine total stress if we can determine pore pressure here or sigma bar is equal to theta minus u sorry so this is not a physical parameter we can determine total stress through this equation and we can determine pore pressure through stand by although it is not a physical parameter but it is very much useful in different soil problems so it can only be computed by subtracting the neutral stress from the total stress okay and total stress total stress and neutral stress are physical parameters so it can be calculated although the effective stress is not a measurable quantity still it is very useful for geotechnical engineering engineers it can easily be realized that the mechanical behavior of soil mass is linked with the effective stress rather than total stress and neutral stress kya matlab hua ke isko seedha kar jo ye samjhe के फिजिकल पैरामीटर है हमारा टोटल स्ट्रेस एंड पोर प्रेशर एफेक्टिव स्ट्रेस इज नॉट ए फिजिकल पैरामीटर इट कैन बी डिटर्मी बाय सब्सट्रैक्टिंग द टोटल स्ट्रेस द पोर प्रेशर फ्रॉम द टोटल स्ट्रेस दीज आर द फिजिकल पैरामीटर्स हद तक अलग है ये दोनों ही फिजिकल पैरामीटर्स है जिसको हम डिटर्मिन कर सकते हैं इफेक्टिव स्ट्रेस फिजिकल पैरामीटर नहीं है लेकिन ज्यादा यूजफुल क्या है इफेक्टिव स्ट्रेस एंड इट कैन इफेक्ट द मेनी सिचुएशन
like increasing effectiveness in the increasing increasing effective stress causes the particle causes causes the particle to pack the particle to pack more closely second thing is decrease the void ratio Decrease the voice word ratio. Decrease in compressibility. Decrease in increase in shearing resistance. 